Suppose very narrow street is there, like this. Only one person can pass this street at one time. Okay. Now, see, suppose one person is coming from this side. Person P1. And second person is suppose at the same time coming from this side. Person P2. Now, the street is so narrow that only one person can pass the street. Condition is only one person can pass the street. Can pass this street. So here is P1, here is person P2. Now, did both the person got blocked. Neither P1 can go or neither P2 can go this side. Why so? Because they cannot share the street. The street is non-shareable. Only one person can use this, this path, this street at a time. Fine. So here you can take P1 and P2 are the processes, two processes and this street is what? Resource. Okay. Now P1 is waiting. P1 is also waiting for this resource to be free. And P2 is also waiting for this street to be free. So both the processes are waiting and both the processes are waiting for which resource which is held by another waiting process. So in this case there is no progress. We cannot say for how much amount of time they will wait. Because the wa they will wait for infinite amount of time because there is no progress for this neither for person P1 neither for person P2 because they are just waiting. There is no progress. So in deadlock also this kind of situation is there you can say waiting for something for infinite time in which there is no progress for waiting processes. In starvation also, also we have discussed that waiting for infinite amount of time or you can say indefinite blocking but deadlock is different from starvation. In starvation we cannot say that there is no progress. But in deadlock, we, we say that there is no progress. If this word is there, no progress is there, then def definitely there would be deadlock. This condition is must, means no progress must. In starvation, see, because of higher priority processes are coming, coming and coming, low priority processes will, you know, uh, wait, wait for the CPU. It's not getting the CPU. But here progress is there, means CPU is running some processes. Processes are coming and they are executing and they are going to terminate state. Progress is there, but because of that priority case, low priority processes are not getting the CPU. Fine. CPU is not blocked. But here, here no progress would be there, then there would be deadlock. If CPU got blocked, CPU will not run any process. Then we can say that the low priority process will never get the CPU. But here in this case, in case of starvation, maybe after 15 minutes, after 1 hour, after 2 hour or after 3 hour, that higher priority processes will not come and ultimately that low priority process will get the CPU because of the progress only. But if no progress case is there, then definitely there would be deadlock. So this, this word is very important in deadlock, no progress. No progress means deadlock. Or you can say, Processes wait for one another's action indefinitely. Here also you can say person P1 is waiting for this P2's action and P2 is waiting for P1's action. But these action cannot occur. That is why they have to wait, the processes will have to wait indefinitely. And that is the condition of deadlock. Let us take one more example. Suppose two children are there and they want to draw something. And on one table, one drawing book is there and one, you can say, a sketch pen or you can say pencil is there. Fine. Now, they, they both the children uh, run to get the drawing book and pencil. Now, one child got this drawing book and one another child got the pencil. Fine. One child, suppose C1 and here we have pencil and C2 got pencil. Now neither C1 can draw something nor C2 can draw something. Why? So because C2 only has pencil and C2 is waiting for this drawing book and C1 is waiting for this pencil and C1 has only drawing book. So both are waiting for resources which are held by some other waiting process. We cannot say by some other process which are waiting for some 
uh, which are waiting for resources which are held by some another waiting processes see this one is also waiting this one is also waiting fine and here no progress case is also there you can easily analyze that here also no progress case is there so if no progress is there in any situation then you can say ultimately there would be deadlock so this no progress funda is very important now come to the point of operating system see see basically deadlock comes in the operating system which are uh, in which multiple processes are running multiple processes are uh, competing for some resources and multi -proce multiple processes will be running maybe uh, you know in multi programming operating system see we have discussed many types of operating system in that video we have discussed what is multi programming operating system so we can say in multi programming operating system many processes are there many processes are running and many resources are also there but resources are finite number of resources we cannot say if resources are infinite then obviously there would not be deadlock and we we, we don't have infinite number of resources we have some limited number of resources resources means your cpu memory I, io devices and all these are resources fine and these these processes are competing obviously these processes multiple processes are running then these processes will be competing for these number of resources fine now at some time maybe one process p1 request a resource any process p1 request a resource if this resource is available then ultimately this resource will be allocated to this process but suppose this pro this resource is not available it may be some other processes holding this resource or using this resource fine now at this point of time this resource cannot be allocated to this process then this process will go into waiting state and this will be waiting for this resource fine maybe some other processes are also waiting for this resource and sometimes this process this process which is in waiting state or in waiting state there may be set of processes more than one process so sometimes these processes or you can say this process never again change its state it will always remain in waiting state and why so because this process is waiting for a resource which is already held by another waiting process another waiting process is there which is holding this resource ab that process suppose p2 is also in waiting state which is holding this resource waiting means obviously this would be waiting some another resource something like this now this p2 is waiting for a resource again maybe this resource is again held by a waiting process so if this kind of scenario is there then you can say this is deadlock you can say when a waiting process never again able to change its state because it is waiting for the resources which are held by some other waiting processes then this situation is known as deadlock one more point also you can add, uh, you can add in this definition and there is no progress then ultimately there would be deadlock now we'll discuss what are the four necessary conditions see i am saying only necessary conditions i am not saying that necessary and sufficient condition condition you cannot say necessary and sufficient condition only these are necessary conditions or you can say kaufman conditions now four conditions are there we will discuss those conditions also now these are the four necessary conditions for deadlock or you can say kaufman conditions for deadlock one is mutual exclusion second one is hold and wait next is no preemption and next one is circular wait so a deadlock situation will arise if all the four conditions held in the system simultaneously at the same time all the four conditions not only one only two or only three no on the all the four conditions are there then deadlock would be there in the system now what is this mutual exclusion in this case we can say at least one resource must be must be held in a non shareable mode 
means we cannot on only one process non shareable mode means only one process can use a resource at one time no two process can share the resource any other process wants that resource then that second process has to wait until the completion of the first process this is first condition mutual exclusion see we have taken the example of this uh, that street narrow street so that is non shareable why you can say non shareable because only one person can pass through that street and what at one amount of at particular amount of time if both the person if two person can pass then that is you can say uh, shareable and uh, at that time there would not be deadlock so that is why this condition should must be hold in the system at least one resource would be there must be held in non shareable mode now next next one is hold and wait it means processes must be holding some resource and waiting to acquire some other resources that are currently held by some other processes it should not be a case that if you are holding some resource you cannot wait for or you cannot request for another resources no you are holding maybe resources r1 r2 and you are waiting for a resource r3 and r4 that should be a case hold plus wait you can hold some resources also process can hold some resource also and can wait or a request for another resources also third is no preemption i have discussed with this preemption many times means forcefully you can remove something so no preemption means resources cannot be preempted if one process is holding some resource we cannot forcefully take that resource from that process no preemption would be there see in case of that uh, drawing book and pen maybe uh, forcefully from one child we 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 took the drawing book and give it to the second children then obviously there would not be deadlock but that should not be a case you cannot forcefully take any resource from a process no preemption case would be there and last one is circular wait circular wait means they are waiting in circularly like suppose we have processes from uh, five processes are there p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and p1 is waiting p1 is waiting for a resource and that resource is held by process p2 p2 is waiting for a resource that process is held by resource p3 by process p3 P3 is waiting for a resource that is held by process P4 and P4 is waiting for a resource that is held by P5 and finally P5 is waiting for a resource and that resource is held by process P1 so this is a circular wait condition so this would also be there otherwise deadlock would not be there fine so all these four conditions must be held simultaneously in a system then a deadlock situation arise fine so in next video we'll discuss how to pre uh, how to uh, handle the deadlock how to prevent how to avoid how to detect the deadlock how to recover the deadlock bankers algorithm and all fine so till then bye bye take care